What's going on guys? So today we are out here at Colonia Del Rey RV in Corpus Christi, Texas, and you're gonna love this. I mean, I mean it. If you've been following my videos on more of the compact units like the Palomino Paws, as well as the Black Series, and you know, you like the interior of those floor plans that don't have any slides, but give you a really, really usable floor plan with a lot of amenities, you're gonna love this. And what's cool about these are the fact that Pumas are very affordable units, so they're easy enough to get into. You just have to understand there are compromises, right? You're not gonna have those crazy, crazy robust sidewalls. You're gonna have a stick and tin unit, wood walls, aluminum siding, which is perfectly fine. There's people that have had units constructed like this, you know, for the last 40 years and they enjoy them just fine. So as long as you take care of any RV, it's gonna last you. That said, this thing has a super awesome and very familiar floor plan that again, I think a lot of folks who are looking to get into RV and, and have seen the Palomino Paws and the Black Series videos are gonna dig. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hang tight, I'll be right back. All right, we're gonna start by taking a look at the numbers on this unit. So it's gonna have a gross vehicle weight rating of only 3,880 pounds, cargo capacity of 661 pounds, a dry weight of 3,180 pounds, and it's 21 feet, six inches long which means this is suitable to be towed by a lot of vehicles. Just make sure you have the towing package and you have the right payload and towing capacity to be able to support this because you get too small in a vehicle, you're just not gonna be able to do it, right? So a lot of your smaller SUVs just can't do it, but your Dodge Durangos, your Jeep Grand Cherokees, you know, your Traverses, things like that, as long as you have the towing package, you should be okay, but just be sure you have the right specs. That said, let's take a look inside of this unit because again, it's gonna seem very familiar. It's gonna seem more familiar when you compare it to something like a Black Series, the interior, than just about anything else, but I think you're gonna like it. So this is the Puma 16 QBX. Now check it out. We're gonna go up the Moride step above steps. First of all, look at this interior. The cabinet tones. I mean, just everything looks really nice. I mean, if you imagine this being a $100,000 interior, I could probably take a picture right here and say it was some other brand that's a hundred grand, that's an off-road RV, and you'd be like, wow, that looks really nice. But check it out. I mean, this is just a really, really, really nice layout. They've done a great job here. First of all, they've put this great storage on the sides of the bed, queen size bed, huge window above it. You got big windows on each side, so you got a lot of airflow, a lot of light coming in, but you have storage on each side as well. And that's gonna give you wardrobe access over here. Plus you have more storage above. And again, check the window out. I mean, that is super, super awesome. If they put blackout shades in this thing, it would be like the ultimate package. I could see this with, you know, just crazy modifications done to it because it's super cool. Again, queen size bed. You're probably gonna have storage underneath it, which you do. Over here, really, really usable kitchen area. Looks like it's a porcelain sink, but it's plastic, but it's still very functional. You got storage underneath it. They actually give you drawers. So a lot of units like this actually don't even have drawers. Another cabinet over here with a lot of space in there. Two burner cooktop, a lot of space right here. The MSRP on this unit is 33,141. I don't see the sale price, but I can imagine it's gonna be significantly less. So probably, I'm gonna guess around 20 grand. Not 100% sure, you'll have to call them to find out, but yeah. More storage up top. Nice little inlay in the cabinetry. You have a GE air conditioning unit up here. Then you have your dinette right here. Again, very black series in, in terms of execution, what they've done here, really nice. You have storage under the seats. This turns into a bed as well. Plus, you have a huge window right here. So a lot of lighting, just check out the windows. I'm gonna pan around here so you can just see what I'm talking about. Between the door, the windows, the front windshield, the area above the sink, I mean, this thing is loaded with windows. I made that point in a video I made a while back. Put more windows in these things and people will love them. And I love the interior. I mean, check it out, we haven't even gone into the bathroom yet, which is really gonna surprise you with how large it is. But from here back, does this really seem as small as it looks from the outside? It feels huge inside of here. I mean, it just has so much available room. You have your power, USB here to charge phones and things like that. But let's check out the, well, before we do that, let's check out the refrigerator. 12 volt Everchill refrigerator, good size, good capacity refrigerator. Thermostat here, you can mount your TV right here. I am really liking this floor plan, to be honest. All right, 
coming into the bathroom. So you have a very, very large size bathroom. Check this out, huge, huge countertop here. You could easily put anything here. I mean, it'd be cool if they put kind of like a, a shelving system right here, just so you could put towels and other things. Large medicine cabinet, spot for your toothbrushes, things like that. More storage under the sink. You have a standard plastic foot flush toilet. Good size shower for the size of unit this is. You could probably be upwards of about 6'3 to 6'4 and fit comfortably in here. And the shower itself, probably about six foot before your head's gonna get into that space. Nice vent hood in here as well. But now that I'm at the very, very back of this unit, just check this out. I mean, from the outside, and we're gonna get to the outside again, you probably would never guess this thing is as well equipped and looks as nice as it does. I really, really like this floor plan and I would probably get something like this and put another three or four grand into it just in terms of upgrades, such as suspension work, tires, wheels, and this thing would just be one really amazing, amazing semi off-road capable trailer. Anyways, leave a comment. Let's check out the outside. Okay, so we're gonna start from the front and work our way back. This has a power front tongue jack, something you typically don't see on this size of unit. Has a spot for a 20 pound propane can, a couple batteries right there. You may be able to fit a 30 pound propane can in there. I'm guessing you probably can because I see the bottom of the propane can protruding from the bottom of the holder right there, or the cover. Has scissor jack stabilization all the way around. Up front, huge, huge storage area. It's not full pass through, but it is definitely a very large storage area. This would be a cool spot to put like a tray, right? You could put a tray here that slides out for your coolers and maybe an outside griddle, something like that. Kind of what you would typically see in like a Black Series or something along those lines, but at a fraction of the price. You have your power awning up here as well. You get your two windows on this side. More I'd step above steps. You have standard leaf sprung suspension. See, this is an area you could do some pretty cool things. You could upgrade to a better wheel and tire combination, which would look really nice. You could put a thicker, shackle hanger there in the back if you want for more you know more durability and long life but you could easily make this thing look far more capable and be a little bit more capable if you put money in the right areas but again from the outside of this unit it just looks compact you would never know that it's so large on the inside coming around back you got your other scissor jacks four inch tubular bumper to throw your sewer hose into spare tire all led lighting wired for furion wireless backup camera Spot for your cable satellite connections outside of your water heater. Have an outside shower, city water connection, 30 amp connection here. This is gonna be for your fresh water connection. Other side of your tire, outside of your furnace. This is really cool. What do you guys think? I would love to know what your thoughts are on a unit like this. Do you see it the same way I do when you were inside and you saw what the interior of this thing looked like? Did you envision it being, wow, this thing is really nice compared to what I could spend a lot more money on and I could save that money, you know, again, invest five grand into some upgrades to this thing that would really make it stand out. Anyways, I'd love to know your thoughts. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up. We'll talk to you again very soon.